Hello everyone, welcome to this short vlog from Chessington. I'm here just to kind of show you what I'm doing today on a nice off-peak day as well as a little update on the world of Jumanji. So yeah, let's head down to Vampire. Here we go, down to Vampire. I really want this original entrance to get reused one day. Absolutely love this queue line. It was great to see it refresh for its 30th birthday. I was down here when Vampire turned 33 just a couple of weeks ago and it was running phenomenally. Chessington, you could definitely run this ride with three trains based on what I saw the other day. But yeah, look at this. No queue for Vampire. I wonder if I'm going to be going straight onto the ride or if there's going to be a little bit of a queue inside the station. But I guess we're going to see as we head down the queue. Down here at Royal Jumanji now, it looks like they're putting in some of the themed floor. They're actually making it just there, so that's pretty cool, but this sign, wow. It looks like it's about to test, so hopefully we'll be able to get a picture of it up there. The whole area is looking absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for my first ride on the 20th of May on Ostrich, no, Mamba Strike. Landry Mayhem and Ostrich Stamp here, which is just over there, but wow, this side looks amazing. These areas down the side here have also been decent up a lot, with lots of planting going in now. The whole area is really starting to come together. You can also see just through the fence, you can kind of see it, just, where is it, there, looks to be the entrance to Mandra Mayhem. Still no entrance side on that. I also can't see any entrance signs with any of the rides just yet, so that looks like it's going to be going in later. From up here by the main entrance, you can get a much clearer look down towards that entrance sign. Just oh, there goes Mandra Mayhem. You can see the entrance sign for it just there. So I'm really hoping that entrance sign is going to look very, very cool. Here it comes. Looking absolutely incredible there. It's a lot closer to the top than when I was last here, so we'll see how close it gets there with riders on. I hope they'll launch you so you just don't make it. And they could even on off peak days hold riders right at the top. I think it's coming on, coming around again. Ah, it's stopped down on the second launch. That's the part of the testing. That was one of the best rides on Pure I've had in a long time. Absolutely crazy spinning. A little hack if you didn't know it when you get to the top of the lift hill. Just make your body go one way or the other and it should spin pretty well. But yeah, that was incredible. On to Rattlesnake. Well, here we go through the Rattlesnake queue. Honestly, a very well themed queue line. Looks like there's absolutely no wait for this one. However, there does seem to be a technical error. They can only put one car on the main course at a time. So yeah, go to Rattlesnake now. Shouldn't be a too long of a wait. And then we'll go probably to Croc Drop from there and potentially even to Blaster. Down here by Scorpion Express, can't really see much. Just trying to spot if the train yet. Yeah, look, to the train is currently just over there, but as of right now, nothing really happening down over by the side of the park. Park does say it's going to be opening around sometime June this year, so hopefully that is true. And yeah, because it's really well themed, and hopefully that fire effect up there finally works again. But yeah. Heading over to Crop Drop now. Now in the queue for Crop Drop. This thing is very underrated in my opinion. You can get some really good drops on it. Yeah, we've got this nice little plaza, which I actually think is really cool around the back here. You just kind of see Zufari there as well, but we're here for Crop Drop. 82,400, not too disappointed with that one, but look at this, such a like 125,000. Finally, after 5,000 years, I know when the door leads, goes into the station. I never actually knew that, which is, uh, yeah, just amusing. 
Yeah. This door here you usually held that way, but that goes straight to the station. In the queue now for another ride on Dragon's Fury. Look at this, there's nobody here. Absolutely love off peak days. The wait is literally at the station, which is awesome. So yeah, probably gonna lap this for maybe 20 minutes and head down to Vampire for a couple of last rides. Yeah, here we go, Dragon's Fury. Gotta take back what I said earlier in the vlog. That ride just there was the best ride I've ever had on Dragon's Fury. I'm gonna hop over to River Raft because I've never done it before. It looks really fun. And then hopefully this and then Vampire one more time before I leave Chesterton today. It's been a great day so far. Absolutely loving it here. Oh, I got worse better than that. Wow, that really is not. You get very wet on that. I mean, look at this. So yeah, heading on to Fury again. Unless there's no time, which is all just straight onto Vampire. I need to retract another statement. That recent one on Dragon's Fury. That one was the best I've ever done. And I've just run down all the way to Vampire. For one last ride. Just made it in the queue in time. But yeah, that's probably the little vampire. My ride count is pretty good for only having like, I think, two hours. To get rid of Thomas spent looking at Jumanji, but here we go, vampire. Here we are going to the station for vampire for the second time today. Oh, look at that. Walk on, back row time, here we go. Pretty epic ride of vampire there to end the day. Still waiting for to be able to get a front row or back row ride though, so that will have to wait. Yeah, it's been a great day here at Chessington. Probably like 10 rides, I think, in the end. But yeah, time to get the bus and the train home. So in the end, I got nine rides today. Two on Vampire, two on Dragon's Fury, uh, one on Trump Liver Rafts, two on Blaster, Croc Drop, Rattlesnake. Oh, that's one more. Oh yeah, three on Dragon's Fury, I should add. All right, here we go, last train on Vampire. Looks like a bunch of ride operators. Oh yeah, it's been an amazing day. Absolutely love off-peak. With Mandrel Mayhem, we dragging through then Mandrel Mayhem at the end of the day, every single day. Yeah, Vampire. Very awesome. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. There'll be more vlogs from Cheston, Thorpe Park, Horton Towers throughout the entire year. Yeah, goodbye.